that Lucifer was a good spirit to whom a great wrong was done is the basic thought that holds the New Age together, according to Tex Mars, the author of two major books on the subject. And he has written, quote, Many New Agers commend Lucifer because by tempting Eve he enabled man to evolve toward enlightened knowledge and godhood, unquote. Remember I told you? that with the gift of intellect, man will develop technology that will make him God? They are working feverishly in laboratories now to uncover the secret of immortal life. Mr. Mars discusses the thoughts of a leader in a mystical organization called the Stell Group. How many times have I mentioned that? The Stell Group, named Eklal, Koshana, he writes that this New Age leader says that, quote, Lucifer is the head of a secret brotherhood of spirits. The brotherhood is named after Lucifer because the great angel Lucifer has been responsible for the abolishment of Eden in order that men could begin on the road to spiritual advancement, unquote. Lars Hansen was reared in the Stell group. Lars Hansen was reared in the Stell group. Tom Valentine was a member of the Stell Group. Tom Valentine wrote a book called The Life and Death of Planet Earth. Get it and read it, folks. Tom Valentine was associated with the Communist Party. Now he's a member of the Liberty Lobby, which came right out of the old German Nazi Bund. They used to sing the Horst Wessel song at the beginning of their meetings. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up. Why do you think every time somebody calls Tom Valentine and asks him by free, about Freemasonry and their complicity in the conspiracy, he covers it up and hangs up on the person as quickly as possible and denies that there's any complicity of Freemasonry? Now, this makes me a little hot under the collar. I've got to cool down a little bit, so we're going to take a break, folks. Don't go away. I'll be right back after this very short pause. Well, folks, I needed that little break. I'll tell you right now, Tom Valentine has been attacking me for years because he knows that I know who he is and what he's about, that I know the origins of the Liberty Lobby, that I know their message is that our government is no good, it doesn't work, that it's turned against us, and it's all lies. Or it's the people who are in these secret societies who have turned against us, who are delivering that message to us to get us to voluntarily overthrow or get rid of our own government, the only government in the history of the world that has ever set man free. And I'm the only one who lets you know this. It's not our government. It's not the Constitution. It's not the Bill of Rights. It's not the structure. It's the secret societies. It's the Tom Valentines. It's the Bogreitzes. It's all of these people who belong to Freemasonry, the Ancient Order of the Rose and Cross, and the Knights Templar, the Sovereign and Military Order of the Knights of Malta, the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, and many more, many more. Socialist, international socialism, under many, many different names. You see, folks, you see... <laughs> The senator was right. Senator McCarthy was absolutely right. He was correct. He just didn't know the proper name. He thought he was ferreting out communism. He wasn't. You see, if he understood what I understand, then he would have survived the attacks of the very people that he was trying to ferret out who owned the media that turned against him and destroyed him. Hollywood, who turned against him and destroyed him through manipulating the opinion of the public. See, communism, folks, is just a word. It's another boogaboo enemy. <laughs> the real enemy, folks, is mystery Babylon. I could never say what I said tonight before, because if I had, it would have been misinterpreted. I had to have independent verification that the Stell group worshipped Lucifer before I could reply legitimately to the tax upon me by Tom Valentine. 
Because if I had told you what I know, without independent verification, all of you would have turned against me as being a poor sport or some other bullshit. It's a real load off my chest to be able to deliver that message to you. I can tell you that right now. Real load off my chest. Let me continue. Remember, this is chapter 9 of A. Ralph Epperson's book, The New World Order. So there is a basic disagreement about the nature of Lucifer, also known as Satan or the devil. The Bible depicts him as a force for evil, and Mr. Pike and others pictures him as a force for good. But the connection between Lucifer and the ancient mysteries needs to be further amplified. The mysteries had a purpose, to create a Superman. Where have you heard that before? Hitler said it. And they're working in secret in laboratories right now toward the same goal. The mysteries had a purpose to create a superman, one capable of understanding the true nature of the universe and to worship the true God. W.L. Wilmshurst, a Mason, wrote these thoughts in his book entitled The Meaning of Masonry. Quote, this, the evolution of man into superman was always the purpose of the ancient mysteries, and the real purpose of modern masonry is not the social and charitable purposes to which so much attention is paid, but the evolution of those who aspire to perfect their own nature and transform it into more godlike quality." Unquote. And need I say as an aside here what a Freemason said to a friend of mine who was his son? He said, Son, if you are not one of us, you are nothing. And of course, the son was not one of them. And to his great credit, has never become one of them. W.L. Wilmshurst amplified this thought a little later in his book. Quote, Man who has sprung from the earth, meaning that he was not created by a creator God, and developed through the lower kingdoms of nature to his present rational state, has yet to complete his evolution by becoming a God-like being and unifying his consciousness with the omniscient to promote, which is and always has been, the sole aim and purpose of initiation, unquote. And he goes on, quote, No higher level of attainment is possible than that in which the human merges in the divine consciousness and knows as God knows, unquote. <laughs> what have I been telling you all this time, folks? So just as Satan tempted mankind with the ability to know good and evil themselves, just like God, without his assistance, now the Masons are teaching that they too could become a god through an initiation into the ancient mysteries. John Anthony West, in his book Serpent in the Sky, wrote this in support of Mr. Wilmshurst's statement. Quote, Egypt started with the concept of divine attributes within man. The gods are not brought down to earth, rather man is raised to the gods, unquote. Others, besides the above-mentioned Masons, like Louis Verbach, have joined the discussion with similar thoughts. He was a 19th century philosopher and a hero of the communists like Karl Marx. In fact, Frederick Engels, the co-worker with Karl Marx during the time Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto as a hired writer hack, wrote this about his friend. Quote, all the communists of 1845 were followers of Feuerbach. The reason that the communists supported the ideas of Feuerbach is apparent when the student reads his writings, for he wrote, quote, Man alone is our God, our Father, our Judge, our Redeemer, our true home, our law, and our rule, the Alpha and Omega of our life and of our political, moral, public, and domestic activity. There is no salvation save through the medium of man, unquote. John Denver, the well-known popular singer has adopted this same philosophy about his divinity. He's been quoted as saying this after his new conversion. Quote, it's the same